Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In today's tutorial, I'm going to explain how we can create actual absence plan in Oracle Axiom. So absence plan determines the rules for uh, defining eligibility, accuring leave time and receiving payment during the absence period. What is the accrual plan? Accrual plan like calculates the uh, time earned by an employee on a periodic basis, including maximum amounts of acquired time and maximum amount of time that can be carried forward to the next term. So let's move on to the application where we are going to create the actual absence plan. Here, we'll just go to the my client group, scroll down and here you can see the show more option. Click on it and then find absences here and you can see here the absence plan under the absences. You can find the absence plan. For existing one, you can, uh, if you remember the name, you can uh, fill the name and you can also search by the plan type here and also by the legislation. So let's just create the new one here. I just change the effective start date and then continue. Here you have. Here you have different kinds of absence plan, but in this tutorial, I'm going to create the accrual absence plan. So I just select this one and then continue. Here you can see there are five steps, the plan attributes, participation, accruals, entries and balances and additional details. So let's start here. Uh, fill we are going to create the uh, vacation accrual plan. So I just fill the name of the plan. And here you can select the unit of the measure, right? If you want to um, give by hours, days, week and months, you can select here. Here we can select the days and here just select the legislation. Status we change into the active. And uh, just move on to the plan term. Here you can see there are two types of uh, plan term, which is the calendar year and an anniversary. So calendar actual term starts on the month, day and year you select and then restart the next year on the same day. Or in simple words, accrual terms of uh, one calendar year that restart on the January 1st. And the uh, anniversary accrual plan means uh, this term that start on the workers annual hire date and restart on every anniversary participation, uh, every anniversary. Okay, so let's select the calendar year here and then select the date which is January first okay first month and day first and there is another info the balance displays so i remain this as it is 
and there are some additional information let's move on to the next one under the enrollment rules are uh, the rules when uh, where we define when to enroll employee in the accrual plans so uh, select your enrollment status as of event i and then end rule is same as of event and if you want to give the waiting period you can select here one month and there are some balanced disposition rules uh, as it's associate an eligibility profile with the accrual plan to determine the set of worker who can enroll in that plan so here on the loss of plan eligibility i selected the two option the transfer positive balance and the recover negative balance so when you uh, select the transfer positive balance this automatically enable so just uh, select here and on the employment termination what happen when we terminate the employment so i select this was the positive balance or also recover the negative balance and it, these are the option we select if the plan eligibility loss so the tr transfer rule uh, we define transfer uh, the limit for a transfer of some or all of the accrual balance to a new plan when the existing plan is terminated due to loss of eligibility so here i select the limited by flat amount and select the days like i select the 5 days okay then here um i remain none as in the limit proration rule and same as the reemployment rule so let's move on to the here uh fill the accrual attributes and the plan limits year end processing so just select like the accrual definition as a matrix if you don't want to add any formula and if you want to add the formula you can select the formula here then select the uh, wasting rule define define it if you want newly enrolled worker to accrue time but not use it until after a specific amount of time so i select here none if you want to fill the time period you can select the elapsed time okay then accrual method is a incremental and accrual provision rule is none and the balance frequency source is a percent primary okay then ceiling uh, rule is a maximum amount of time an employee can accrue so if you want to give the flat amount you can give here and the matrix you can give under this accrual matrix you can then you can select the include in matrix and if you want to give the flat amount the numbers you can give here i select here its amount maximum step is a uh, 3 just give the accrual limit for the as per the annual requirement and i selected allow also negative balance negative limit is 4 uh, okay 
then if you um, want to give the rule over rule and also give the carryover limit like uh, limited by flat amount or formula and unlimited and not applicable you can give here so i select here not applicable and if you want to carry over limit maximum amount of time an employee can carry over to the next cycle you can give the flat amount here and you can also set if carryover expires after some specific time just enable it okay select the expiration date and the calendar days then just go to the entries and balances option here you can enable the following types of adjustment that hr specialist can make during maintenance of absence records and entitlement just adjustment and transfer the elective disbursement the year end disbursement discretionary disbursement donation and the rates and the payroll integration to so just enable it enable adjustment here i select the all and after that select the discretionary disbursement um, or uh, you can see the worker can in in that uh, what is the discretion uh, discretionary disbursement workers can initiate a cash disbursement request for their accrual or donation plan balance administration and managers also have the option to initiate a cash disbursement request on the behalf of the work worker so select the enable administrator and enable manager and enable worker if you want uh, that ki only worker is able to request for the discretionary disbursement you only select the worker then select the disbursement rule as a flat amount and if you want to add any formula you can select here formula then fill the maximum and minimum increment just give the minimum and maximum is 4 then you can also enable the donation option here define whether worker are eligible to donate accrual balances to a coworker and decide who can initiate the donation and additionally define donation rule and the number of days that can be donated okay so here i enable all of them and select the flat amount the minimum amount is 3 uh, and maximum is 5 uh, then if you created any rates under the rate definition you can select here and if you want to transfer absence payment information for payroll processing you can enable it and then select the element you define when we enable it here it give the element option we create in the payroll so select this and just save this okay then there is a additional details so there is so there is a option for event processing 
if you created anyone just click on the select and add option and add and then submit so right now i don't have any event processing so i just let it be and then save and close so let's search if our actual balance just create is visible or not so it's visible you can see here and if you want any changes you can click on the edit option and then update it so this is how we can create the accrual balance when we create the eligibility then we add the eligibility with this accrual plan associate with this accrual plan so i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching